Brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park. Today is Freddy Fox's birthday and all the children are going on a big adventure. Where are we going for your birthday, Freddy? I don't know, but I can't wait to get there. We're here! <laughs> Welcome to Grumpy Rabbit's Dinosaur Park! Ooh! Dinosaur! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Are there really dinosaurs here? No, just pretend ones. Phew! Real dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Edmund knows a lot about dinosaurs. He is a clever clogs. But we've got better than real dinosaurs. We've got singing dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. We are the dinosaurs. Listen to us <laughs> They're a bit small. Yes. Aren't dinosaurs meant to be big? Ah, oh, yes. We do have a big dinosaur, a real whopper. Uh, would you like to meet it? Yes, please. These are its footprints. We just have to follow them. Ooh. These footprints look very real. Are you sure there's no living dinosaurs about, Grumpy Rabbit? Uh, quite sure, Daddy Pig. Over the boulders, everyone! <laughs> Across the bridge! <laughs> Through the cave! <laughs> oh, the footprints have stopped. Look! There are some green steps. It's a big slide! Whee! Yes, it's my whopping ginormous dinosaur slide! <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a brontosaurus! Actually, the correct name is a patasaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxes love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Wow! What an egg! It's huge! Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No, the cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. <sighs> Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone, copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. Stomp, 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 roar, roar, roar. Do the dinosaur stomp. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Frogs and 
worms and butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Wow! What a beautiful butterfly. Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? They have very long tongues. Longer than mine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Peppa, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Pepper is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Peppa, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <coughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Hmm. Do frogs play dolls' houses? Ho, 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 ho. Silly Peppa. What's your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes. Frogs love jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, George. Let's play frogs. I'm a little froggy. I'm a little froggy. <laughs> the froggies have found a nice big muddy puddle to play in. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Butterflies and worms are very nice, but I like frogs the best. <laughs> I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Very hot day. The sun is shining. It is a very hot day. What a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. 
They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Pepper. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool! <laughs> First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. Yuck! So oily and yucky. Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> <sighs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose. And Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> Pepper and George love their paddling pool. Ice cream! Ice cream! Miss Rabbit, the ice cream lady! <laughs> ice cream! On very hot days, Miss Rabbit sells ice cream. Mummy, Daddy! Can George and I have an ice cream, please? Oh, well, I suppose it is an especially hot day. Hooray! <laughs> please, can I have one as well? Everyone likes ice cream. Hello, Mummy Pig, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> what ice creams would you like? Can I have a cone, please, Miss Rabbit? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. The same for me and one for Daddy Pig, please. And what would young Mr George like? A dinosaur? Silly George. He always says dinosaur for everything. Well, it just so happens that I do have a dinosaur-shaped ice lolly. <laughs> dinosaur. Grrr. George, you should eat your ice lolly before it melts. Dinosaur. George loves his dinosaur ice lolly so much he doesn't want to eat it. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Enjoy the weather. <laughs> George, I really think you should eat your ice lolly before it melts and falls on the ground. Oh dear, George's dinosaur ice lolly has melted and fallen on the ground. Never mind, George. You can share Daddy's ice cream. I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> it is so warm, Daddy Pig has fallen asleep. Daddy Pig does look hot. Let's tip water on Daddy to cool him down. Good idea, Pepper. Whoa! What happened? You were all red and hot, Daddy Pig. So we tip water on you. Oh, I see. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the puddles are back. Quick, George, let's get our boots. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. <laughs> Pepper and George love the hot day, but most of all, they love jumping up and down in puddles. <laughs> Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. 
one of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, We're going to, to Duckland, Duckland in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when... we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. Look, it's the ducks. Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All our brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a bunch. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river in the camper <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Brother George, this is Mummy Pig, and this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mr. Potato comes to town. Up down. Peppa and her family are watching Mr. Potato on television. I love watching programs about keeping fit. Up down. Now here are some lovely drawings I've been sent. This is an apple. Ooh. Remember, eating fruit and vegetables helps you stay fit. I'm good at eating fruit and vegetables. And exercise is important. Today you can see me open a new sports center in town. 
Mummy, can we go and see Mr Potato? It's a long way to go to see a potato, Peppa. He's not any old potato. <laughs> this is Mr Potato. Can we go and see him, Mummy? Please? Oh, all right. <laughs> Everyone has come to see Mr Potato open the new sports centre. Look, it's Mr Potato. Mr Potato! Oh, it's just Peppa. Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Susie thought you were Mr Potato. <laughs> I don't look like Mr Potato. No, you're much too big. Mr Potato is bigger than me. No, he's not. He's a potato. And potatoes are this big. <laughs> There's Mr Potato. Mr Potato has come to town. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr Potato. Hooray! Hooray! Wow, that's a big potato. I declare this sports centre open. Fantastic. We must all exercise and eat fruit and vegetables. Which one should we eat, Mr Potato? Apples, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Potatoes? Um... Why aren't you small, like a normal potato? Uh... Because he's not a normal potato. He's got legs. Normal potatoes don't have legs. He's a super potato. <laughs> we watch your show every morning. Very good. And remember to send me your drawings. We will. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will do drawings for Mr. Potato. Hooray! <laughs> I'm drawing a pineapple. I'm drawing a carrot. Very good. What are you drawing, Emily? A pea. Lovely. And Pedro? It's a super potato. Oh, I see. And George has drawn a wonderful tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, what vegetable have you drawn? My daddy watching television. Oh, excellent. Now, we put the drawings in an envelope and post them to Mr Potato. It is morning and time for the Mr. Potato Show. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! We posted some drawings to Mr. Potato in an envelope. Did you get the envelope? He can't hear you, Daddy. He's on television. Oh, yes, of course. I've received an envelope full of drawings. This tomato looks very juicy. That's George's picture. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. But this picture from Peppa Pig is my favourite. Wow! That's my picture. It shows Daddy Pig watching TV. Mmm. Looks like Daddy Pig needs some exercise. Eh? What? Come on, Daddy Pig. Let's do some jumping up and down. Oh, all right. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> Daddy Pig down. likes jumping up and down, down. Up, Everyone down. likes jumping up and down, up, down. Up. Hello, boys and girls. We're going to play a game of Guess the Animal with George Pig. Oh, hello, George Pig. George, I'm going to describe an animal, and you have to guess which animal I'm describing. Does that sound like fun? <coughs> Come on, boys and girls. Let's look at the first animal. This animal has a pointy nose to smell with. And, oh, ouch! This animal has brown, spiky spines all over its body. Don't prick yourself. This animal has one, two, three, four little feet. This animal is very small. This animal has one, two little eyes. K, 
can we guess what it is? A hedgehog! Let's see if George can pick the right animal. Are you ready, George? Well done, George! It's the hedgehog! Now let's do another animal. This animal has two wings to fly away with. This animal has a beak and it goes twitpo and two big round eyes. They're very beady eyes. And this animal has feathers all over its body and this animal has two feet can we guess what it is an owl let's see if george can pick the right animal go on george pick the right animal Well done, George. It's the owl. And now for our third animal. This animal has two eye stalks. This animal has a coiled spiral shell. This animal has a slimy body. Ooh, ooh. Can we guess what it is? It's a snail. Let's see if George can pick the right animal. Go on, George. What animal did I describe? George, it's a snail. Thanks for playing, boys and girls. You're very good guessers. I'll see you next time. Bye. Today we're making corn on the cob. Let's start with yellow play dough. Roll it into an oblong shape. Use a tool to score lines along the width of the shape. There, that's looking great. Make lots and lots of stripes all the way down. Score the other direction as well to make the corn kernels. Are you having fun? Now take some green play-doh. Roll it out and flatten it. We're making the husk, so make a pointed end. They should be around the length of your corn. Let's make another one. And repeat again until you have lots of husks. Score the husk to give it texture. Mmm, I love corn. What do you like to eat? Now add the husk leaves to the underside of the corn. This is going to look great when it's all put together. Wrap 
the husks around the corn. Doesn't that look great? Press it down when necessary and shape around the corn using the tool. Let's add some detail to the bottom here. Now it's time to fry it up with Granny Pig. Put your corn in the frying pan. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Mmm, delicious. That smells amazing. Wow, I can't wait to taste my corn. Yum. It's done! Hurrah! Time to eat! Munch, 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 munch! Wow! This corn looks really realistic! Mmm, yummy, yummy! This corn was so much fun to make! Daddy Pig is in the garden, tending to his flowers and vegetables. There's some lovely compost here. This will help my vegetables grow big and tall. Now I should go and check on my flowers. Oh, don't they look fantastic? I'm really happy with how they look. Well done, Daddy Pig. Oh, look! Here comes Pepper and her friends. What are you doing, Daddy Pig? Well, Pepper, I'm growing all my flowers and vegetables. It's important that we grow fresh, healthy vegetables for us to eat. How do the flowers and vegetables grow, Daddy Pig? Well, they need light from the sun and water. In my wheelbarrow, I've got some compost. I'm going to grow some carrots when I get home, says Rebecca the rabbit. Daddy Pig, Daddy Pig, what are you doing? Well, I'm checking on my beans. They're going to make a delicious soup. Daddy Pig, will you help me grow a flower for Mummy Pig? Of course, Pepper. That's a lovely idea for Mother's Day. Well, how do we start, Daddy Pig? I want it to be really big and pretty. Well, first, Pepper, we need to find some flower seeds. I think I saw a bucket of seeds somewhere in the garden. Oh, look, there it is. Yes, this will do nicely. What sort of flower seeds are they? These are sunflower seeds. They're also one of Mummy Pig's favorites. Okay, Daddy Pig, that's great. Can you help me? First up, Pepper, we need to put some soil into the plant pot. This will have all the nutrients that the sunflower needs to grow. Now we add the seeds. And then we need some water to make the flowers grow big and tall. I'm so excited. How long do I have to wait for the flowers to grow? <laughs> it takes time for things to grow. Oh, I wish it would grow super fast. If you want it to grow big and tall, you have to water it every day. <gasps> Look, the flower is starting to grow. If I water it every day, I wonder how big it will get. Pepper is so excited. She can't wait for the flower to bloom. <gasps> Look, my sunflower's taller. I must go and tell Daddy Pig. Look, everyone. The beautiful yellow petals have started to bloom. It looks amazing. 
Daddy Pig, come look! What's that, Pippa? Oh my, what a great looking sunflower! Well done! You've done a great job! I'm so happy, I can't stop jumping! <laughs> You're so funny, Pippa! Wow, it's brilliant! It's as big and bright as the sun! Let's see if I can carry it. <gasps> Heavy! Maybe it's thirsty! I've come to look at your flower! Oh my! Look how big it's grown! Mummy Pig will be so happy! I'm going to go and get her right now, Daddy Pig! Okay, Peppa, you go and get Mummy Pig. Here comes Mummy Pig and George. So, what do you want me to see, Peppa? Oh, my! Look at that beautiful sunflower! I grew it for you, Mummy! For Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day! It's lovely! That's very kind, Peppa. Daddy Pig taught me how to grow. I guess I did, didn't I? A joint effort. Well done, Peppa! And Daddy Pig! Right, let's see if we can get the flower out of the plant pot. It's really heavy! <laughs> Yay, we've got the flower out. That was hard. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Mummy Pig. I love it. It's the best Mother's Day present I've ever had. Good morning, George. Are you ready for breakfast? We're having cereal. Good morning, Mummy Pig. Can we have pancakes today? Oh, I don't think we have the right ingredients for pancakes. Please, please can we have pancakes? Begged Peppa. Okay, we'll have to check the fridge and see what we have. Oh, thanks, Mummy Pig. Yay! Sounds like Peppa's very excited. Hmm, what do we have in the fridge? Oh dear, not the right ingredients at all. We're going to have to write a shopping list, Peppa. And go shopping, advised Mummy Pig. Here's our shopping list. Let's write down what we need. Firstly, there's two pints of milk, four eggs, one flour. Oh, Mummy Pig, you've spelt flour wrong. Oh, silly me. That's flour. Okay, now let's go shopping. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George head to the supermarket. Danny Dog is at the checkout. Thanks, Candy Cat, for helping me with my shopping. Oh, it's a pleasure, Danny Dog. Enjoy the pasta. Meow. Bye. Woof. Bye. Meow. Oh, look. Here's Mummy Pig with her shopping trolley. Now, Peppa, we need to find all the ingredients for the pancakes. OK, Mummy Pig, I'll go and find them. What shall we get first, George? Why don't you try and find the milk first, said Mummy Pig. OK, Mummy Pig. OK, George, you can help too. Now, where's the milk? Chop, 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 chop. Oh, look! Here it is, Mummy Pig. I found the milk. Well done, Pepper, praised Mummy Pig. I've got two pints of milk. Yay! I found the milk! Into the trolley goes the milk. Let's cross it off Mummy Pig's shopping list. I'll go and get the eggs now, Mummy Pig. OK, Peppa. I found the Mummy Pig. Gosh, that was quick. Put them in the basket then, and I'll cross them off the list too. <laughs> now let's find George. George? George! George has gone to look for the flower. George! Have you found the flower? Oh, well done, George. Let's put it in the basket. 
Into the trolley goes the flower. Let's cross it off Mummy Pig shopping list. Now we need to go to the checkout and pay for the ingredients. Hello, Candy Cat. Oh, hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. What are you making today? We're making pancakes. Oh, I love pancakes too. I want to make blueberry pancakes, Mummy Pig. Well, we better get home and make some then, George. Bye, Candy Cat. Mummy Pig, Peppa Pig, and George are back home with their shopping. There's milk, flour, eggs, blueberries. These pancakes are going to be delicious. Mummy Pig, I'm so excited to make pancakes. I can't wait. Right, so now we need to add all the ingredients to the mixing bowl. Who wants to help? Okie doke. I've got the flour. Okay, let's put it in then, Pepper. I'm so excited. In goes the flour. Whoosh. Well, next, George, we should add the milk. Do you want to do it? Glug, glug, glug. Now we have to put in the eggs. Do you have them, Pepper? Here they are. Crack, splash. In it goes. Well done, Pepper. Now what do we do, Mummy Pig? Now we have to stir all the ingredients together. We don't want lumpy pancakes, do we? Yeah. No. Now it's time to cook them in the pan. Mummy Pig better do this bit, because it's very hot. Let's pour in the mixture. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Uh, do you think we should toss the pancakes? Oh, yes, Mummy Pig, please. One, two, three. Oh no, the pancake has landed on George's head. <laughs> Are you okay, George? Well, we should probably put it on a plate first, George. Hmm? <laughs> Don't the pancakes look delicious? There's maple syrup and George has a blueberry one. <gasps> wow! Who wants some maple syrup? Oh, yes, please, Mummy Pig. I'm going to pour some on now. Swoosh! delicious oh my piglets <laughs> hello everyone hello peppa <laughs>
pink. Hey boys and girls, you're watching Peppa Pig! And today, I have this Peppa Pig box! I wonder what could be inside? Wow! Play-Doh eggs! And they're the colours of the rainbow! Cool! There's red, orange, yellow, green, Blue and purple. I wonder if there are any surprises inside. Shall we have a look inside the yellow one? Yellow. What yellow things can we think of? The sun, lemons, melons, bananas. What else? Stars. Oh, and rubber ducks. Inside, it's George's dinosaur, Mr. Dinosaur. 
George's favourite dinosaur. box and I wonder what could be inside the green egg green what green things can we think of the grass is green and so are leaves on a tree what else dragons and dinosaurs are green too George's dinosaur is green oh what's this it's a ball with stickers inside. I love stickers. There's Peppa and George. Hi, I'm Peppa Pig. Hi, I'm George Pig. What colour next? Orange. Orange. What orange things can we think of? Orange is orange, and so is orange juice. What else? Pumpkins and apricots are orange too. Lots of orange fruit, mmm. I see a curly tail. Who is it? It's George Pig! Hi, I'm George Pig, and I'm wearing blue, and I've got black boots on. And look at my little curly tail. Oh, George Pig is so sweet. Thanks. Now, what will be inside our blue egg, I wonder? What blue things can we think of? The sky is blue and the sea is blue. What else? Blueberries and bluebirds are blue too. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it looks like something blue as well. It's a yo-yo. So much fun. So I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and play with the yo-yo. Goes down and up. Up and down, down and up. Whee! So much fun. But I want to look inside the next egg. What colour next? Red. What red things can we think of? Apples are red. And so are strawberries and tomatoes. What else? Ladybirds are red too. inside our red egg. Ooh, it's a pencil topper. And there's Grandpa Pig on it. And Peppa and George Pig too. Hello, I'm Grandpa Pig and oh, I do love to write in my diary so it'll be perfect for me to use this pencil for. Oh, yes. And Peppa and George like writing in their diary too. Purple. What purple things can we think of? Plums and grapes are purple. What else? Violets and lavender are purple too. Now let's have a look inside. Oh cool, it's a frying pan with fried eggs on top. So yummy. I do love eggs for breakfast. Sunny side up. Mm -mm. Now, let's decorate our egg box with stickers. We've got Peppa Pig and George Pig. I love stickers. And make it so pretty. There we go. Perfect for Peppa Pig. So thanks so much for watching, boys and girls. I had so much fun. I hope you did too. And I'll see you next time. 